I greet you in Jesus' name. Welcome to the program. We've got Snowy here today. He's uh, accompanying me. This is my old horse. I've had him now for, wow, must be close on 15 years, I think. Snowy is 17 years old, and he's been a faithful horse. I must share a little joke with you before we start. A lady wrote in to me not so long ago, and she said, Snowy is hearing the gospel every time you preach. He must be the most... <laughs> He must be the most Christian horse in the world. <laughs> a lady sent me a photo of her little miniature Daxi. I think it's a Daxi. And every morning, that Daxi wakes up with her and listens to the thought for the day that we send out every morning at 5 o'clock. She says, this little dog has become a Christian dog. <laughs> so we're getting lots of Christian animals. I hope there's a couple of humans out there that are also Christians. <laughs> anyway, we're getting down to the work of the Lord. We're going to Isaiah 55, and I'm reading verse 1. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come buy and eat. Yes, come buy wine and milk without money and without price for free. Isn't that wonderful? And then we go to the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 7, verse 7. You probably know that scripture. The Lord says, Ask and you shall receive. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Please do not allow pride to prevent you from receiving. Now, I'm from the old school, okay? I was brought up, my dad said, if you can't afford it, you don't buy it. I can see a lot of people nodding and smiling. But when you come to Christ, Jesus has given you salvation for free. He's forgiven your sins for free. He's taken all those accounts on his back. He says, by your, my stripes you have been healed. He says that in Isaiah 50, chapter 53. We've got to stay humble, folks. We've got to understand that in the kingdom of God, you've got to learn to take off your hat and you've got to humble yourself. And when people give you something, you've got to say, thank you very much. Not a case of, no, I can't take it because I can't afford it. When Jesus Christ offers you something, you can't afford not to take it. You must take it. And sometimes it's very hard. For a man who's come up the hard way and uh, been taught like I was that if you can't afford it, you don't buy it and you just don't take gifts freely. You've got to change your mindset. I'm not saying that you must take advantage of people. I'm not saying you must walk around begging. No, no. You must earn your keep. You must work hard. But when somebody wants to bless you, you've got to receive it. And that's what happens to me. Sometimes somebody comes up to me one man in, in America gave me the most beautiful knife. I love knives. This knife is the biggest pen knife I've ever seen in my life. It's about that size. It's got five blades. It doesn't fit in my pocket. It's got to go into the saddlebag. He just walked up. He gave it to me. And before I could even speak to him, he walked away. I've tried to find that man just to say thank you. And I cannot trace him. If you are watching this program, sir, please contact me. I just want to say thank you for that amazing gift. The gifts I love the most are the ones I get in the post from little children. They've taken a lot of time to draw pictures of Snowy and sometimes of me and cut it up nicely and a little message means so much to me. Those are the things I will never give away or even sell because they come from the heart. Let us learn to be like little children and just say, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for giving me new life. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.